All right, hey, so I got a comment the other day that was asking me how I stay consistent. And it was funny for me to read through because I don't think that I'm particularly um, productive or on top of my game, right? But um, I wanted to share in this video the system that I use to just stay organized. And I think it's really helpful to just have like a baseline idea of what's going on in your life um, and have a place to fall back onto when that kind of becomes unclear, right? So the main tool that I use is a program called Obsidian. I'm gonna walk through in this video um, how I've configured it and also just like the other ancillary things that I do on the side to just stay organized with everything that happens in my life. And hopefully it's helpful for you when you think about um, staying on top of the tasks and the events that you kind of have to go through um, in your own. Before we dive into how I've set everything up, I did want to kind of break down um, my thinking when it comes to what I'm trying to track. I think it's important to understand, you know, what are you trying to achieve? Like, why are you using a certain tool? Um, and for me, when I think about my life, these are the, the key areas, right? So I'll quickly run through. I drew this little flow chart with the Obsidian Canvas tool, which is a nice kind of fun way to brainstorm. But essentially, there are three main areas for me. Number one, I want to be able to keep track of my goals. Number two, I want to be able to track events, right? Like day-to-day -day things um, that will come up that I need to make sure I'm not double booking over. And then number three are thoughts. So these are things that just come to mind for me. I need to have a place where I can kind of dump some of this information out. Um, and Obsidian does a great job of that for me. So in terms of these three areas, I would say that the events are more so basically all Google Calendar. The goals and the thoughts, I do a combination of Obsidian and just pen and paper. And through these three areas, right, there are a bunch of tasks that you kind of assign yourself to get closer to what you need to do in, in every single facet, right? So for example, if you have to go to a doctor's appointment, well, you're gonna have to schedule that appointment first before you actually get it on the calendar. That's a task that you need to do. Same thing with goals, right? You're breaking those up into smaller chunks so that you can actually achieve what you're trying to achieve. And then likewise for thoughts, like if you just out of nowhere think of things, right? Well, I find myself doing this all the time where like I'll just remember something that I think I have to do or I forgot about having to do and it's really helpful to write it down in somewhere. And um, for me, that's Obsidian. Um, so one thing that I really like about Obsidian in contrast to other programs like, like Notion, for example, is that you, you have a lot of optionality when it comes to how you store the data that you're recording through the program. Um, for example, every file that you create in Obsidian will get stored in some drive that you choose. Uh, so you can have it all be stored locally on your computer if for whatever reason you're worried about them not supporting it in the future or um, the internet goes kaput and you still wanna have access to like all your information, it will be stored locally on your drive. The way I, that I've set it up is actually put it on my iCloud drive so that that way I can access um, the same data through all my different iOS devices. So I'm usually using it on my Mac, but I also will have it open on my phone if I'm on the go and I wanna jot something down. Obsidian is, is kind of centered around this concept and I've been trying to do more with them, but essentially every file that you see here, or every dot rather, is a file in this graph view. And um, through the Obsidian tool, you can actually link different concepts together and it helps visualize and track just all the different ways that you are um, interacting with your information. Um, so if you're into like the concept of, of building out a second brain or a repository for your knowledge, um, you could definitely have a lot of fun with this. As you can see, I don't have too many connections right now. I'm just trying to approach this like simply, at least this first quarter of use that I've gotten out of it. Um, but yeah, I do like the daily notes. I haven't written one for today, but essentially I have it set up in a way where on my phone when I open the app, the first thing that I do see is today's daily note. And it's really helpful in prompting me to write down um, just a log of what the day, how the day went. I think it's kind of like a journaling exercise for me. And at the same time, if something comes to mind in that like thoughts bucket that I was talking about, right, where I just really quickly need to write something down in a way that I know will be reference, referenceable in the future. I can open up the Obsidian app and I can just jot it down real quick on my phone. I also use two other folders, one for goals and one for projects. So essentially when we talk about like that center of the, the flow chart, right, 
Um, goals would be really long-term objectives that you have for yourself that I've, I've had trouble personally like staying on top of when it comes to those like long time spans, right? So I've, I've used a combination of things in the past. Like I said, Notion, I've tried bullet journaling, um, but I am really trying to go all in on Obsidian as my solution for this, where I've written out in every section here, like what I want to improve in, how I'm feeling. Um, I find it to be like a helpful exercise to kind of approach maybe on a quarterly basis, like sitting down and thinking about where you are in these different areas that you kind of define for yourself. Um, and so far it's been really good. It's been a positive kind of like exercise for me. Um, and the projects themselves, I say, would be like areas that you are trying to actively do work in. Um, and in some ways they're like an extension of the goals, right? You pick a few things from the goals that you've set and you think about how can I actually achieve these goals, right? So for YouTube, for example, right, like I've set out a lot of different ideas about how I'm like, what sort of content I'm, I'm creating, what, what sort of things I want to be talking about. Um, and then I have a separate document where I just like, I have just a list of ideas, right? If, if I, if something comes to mind, I'll just open a daily note and I'll just like jot it down. And it's really nice because you can completely search for anything that you want within the Obsidian tool. So I'll think back, for example, of something that I wrote down a month ago, and I don't know where it is, but if I just use a search function, I'm, I'm able to find it really quickly. The last piece of this that I've found to be very helpful is the to-do list. So I, I love to-do lists. I'd say I'm pretty to-do list pilled. Like I think they get a bad rap just because it's almost too simple in a lot of ways, but um, I find it very helpful to just prioritize like discrete tasks that I know I need to do, right? So I have these goals, I have these projects I'm working on, I have my day-to-day -day life. Um, there are a bunch of things that will come up that I'll log in a daily note that at the end of the week, I'll sit down and try to move it into the to-do list. And I organize it in three kind of s sections of priority. P1 being the most high priority work, P2 being the next most prior high priority, and then P3 are like things that I need to kind of keep in the back of my mind um, that are not like super urgent to get done and will will be okay if I don't get done right away. So every week I kind of take a look at this and try to assess where I am. Um, and when it comes to day to day, if I'm trying to be really productive, like I said, I'll use a paper notebook and what I'll do is I'll sit through here and I'll write out my to do's in the notebook um, and try to get those done throughout the day. I still think there's a lot of value in like the physical act of, of scratching things off and then taking things as done. Um, so this is like a two prong way for me to do that, which I find to be really helpful. Yeah, and the way this works, like Obsidian doesn't have a native like to-do list function. So this is kind of like custom built um, through some things I read on Reddit and some of the custom plugins that I've installed, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but you can tick something off, it'll give you a completion date it'll mark it as checked but I wanted it to like automatically disappear there isn't a way to do that um, but now I've installed this like archiver um, plugin which lets me do command zero and then it automatically hits the bottom and is is archived down here so I find that to be very helpful um, just again when it comes to thinking about all the things you need to keep track of it's comforting to know that you have it all in one place and you're not missing anything. Last bit of glazing before I get out of here, I just wanted to quickly plug what I find to be the most powerful thing about Obsidian and, and why I really, really like it and have, have found a lot of success using it so far. And that is the customizability. So you can change almost everything about the way that it looks, the way that it operates, and a lot of what you use to do that is actually user supported and user Built. So they have what are called community plugins. And this is where you can really unlock, I think, a lot of the power here, right? There are just countless fan made solutions for whatever use case you can think of. And I think it's just very, very cool that, you know, you can follow a couple guides on YouTube, you can follow someone's documentation on the actual 
like plug-in store and it's not even a store it's everything here is free um, but you can follow this and you can actually make this tool perfect for you so if that sounds interesting to you I would definitely check out obsidian as a tool if you're not already using it already um, but again like to me if you're able to capture like these three areas in a good and clean and repeatable manner um, you'll be well on your way to just doing what you need to do to live an organized life, one filled with clarity, one filled with just consistent habits, um, and just really build a baseline for uh, success for yourself in the future. All right, that's it. See ya.